welcome back to Sunny's Dash of Flames. Today I'm going to be cooking chicken salad. So I have all my ingredients here. I'm gonna start by just boiling the chicken until it is fully cooked and then I'm going to chop it up into chunks and add all of my cool spices and seasonings and stuff to it. So to start off I just have this empty pot and I'm going to sort of make the yummy broth because I definitely want to infuse the chicken with a good amount of flavor while it's boiling. So I have some reduced sodium chicken broth from Publix. I'm going to shake it up and I have my measuring cup here. And so I have two cups of this chicken broth I'm going to pour in. And I also have apple juice. I thought it would be cool to infuse a little bit of apple sort of flavor within the chicken. So I have this Publix Premium Unfiltered Apple Juice. And you can really see it's more on the concentrated side. So it'll add some good flavor. So I'm gonna add two cups of this as well, along with some water. And so I have two cups of water as well. Okay, and now I'm going to add some minced garlic. You can find this anywhere in your local grocery store. <laughs> and I'm gonna add a good full spoonful. And I'm just gonna put that in and just mix it around to make sure that the garlic is going flowing throughout. And then I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Um, for the salt and pepper, that will be to taste of what you prefer. So, you know, you definitely don't want it too salty. You don't want it under salted. So I'll put a decent amount of pepper in the salt. I'm going to put a Full teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna stir it again and then I'm also gonna season it with some garlic powder some onion powder and I have some dried chopped chives so I'm gonna add a decent amount of chives at least around a tablespoon or so and definitely make sure that you're adding all of these ingredients cold. Because if you notice, I don't have this on the stove. Um, it just helps with the chicken to make sure that the chicken doesn't overcook or have weird spots on it that are um, cooked a little bit more than others on the skin on the outside of it. So I'm doing all this cold. I'm gonna add the chicken to it even when the mixture is cold and then I'm gonna put it on the stove. So then I'm gonna add some garlic powder as well. You can add that to taste. And some onion powder. Now I'm gonna stir this up again. Okay, so this mixture is looking good. I have a pound of chicken that I'm going to add in. This is 1.11 pounds. I recommend a pound of chicken. This is the closest I can get to a pound. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna take these whole chicken fillet slices and just drop it in. Here's the first one. And here's the second one. And now I have my oven on medium high heat. I'm going to have this on the stove until it's at a sort of a high boil. And then I'm going to reduce the temperature more towards where it's like at a simmering point. And then I'm going to cover it for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay guys, so this is what the mixture looks like so far. You can see the chives in there, two big chickens, and now I'm just waiting for it to boil. It looks really good and it has a lot of different seasonings and flavors. So let's wait till this thing boils. Okay guys, you can see that it's boiling now, so now I'm going to reduce the heat to five it was on eight before and then I'm just gonna let it simmer you can see it's bubbling it smells really good 
And I'm gonna let this simmer now for 30, 20 to 30 minutes and just sort of let it poach and all the juices and everything. And then I'm gonna do a little test and cut through it and make sure that it's cooked through thoroughly. Okay guys, so it's been 25 minutes and this is what it looks like there now. It looks really good and it smells really good. You can see like the chives and everything on top of the chicken and the steam. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to place this in a clear bowl and cut it up. So let me show you guys the rest of the awesome process. <laughs> Okay guys, so the chicken is done. I'm gonna bring it over here. It smells really good. Okay, so first I'm gonna take the chicken out. Looks really good. This is the first one and the second one. And feel free to save this broth to reuse. You can freeze it or just keep it in your refrigerator a nice seal tight container, but it'll last up to a couple months if you freeze it. So let's do the cut test. Oh man, that looks really good guys. I'll give you a close up, really tender and juicy. And this is what it looks like. It's got some seasoning there on top but it came out really, really good and juicy. So I'm just going to cut this into chunks. And then at this point, you wanna taste the chicken because I'm going to, of course, you know, be adding the seasonings, um, the mayonnaise and everything. And you definitely don't wanna to have too much salt in. So it's good to test the chicken and see the salt levels on that first. And what I like to always do is just add the salt last at the very end as needed, or if needed, if you already have enough stuff in there, and may already just be perfect enough. So this chicken is very good and flavorful. I just tried a little piece, so I won't need too much salt. I'll probably just add a teaspoon to the whole mixture. So I have my clear bowl here. And I'm going to add in this yummy chicken. So now I'm going to add a cup of Duke's mayonnaise to this chicken. And then I also have some sour cream. I'm gonna use half a cup of sour cream. This is by the Daisy brand. Okay, so half a cup of sour cream. And I'm just going to mix this together. And then I'm going to add some diced yellow onions. I have here a tablespoon of diced onions. And also some diced celery. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of diced celery. Okay, and now I just have some onion powder here. I'm going to add some over the top, mix it in, and these seasonings you can add to taste. Gonna add some chives, again as well. Going to add some garlic powder, not too much. And I'm going to add some pepper. I'm going to add a tablespoon of vinegar. And this vinegar that I have here is White House White Distilled Vinegar. And I also have a secret ingredient of sugar, so I'm going to just add one tablespoon of sugar. This will be more of like a sweeter chicken salad. And stir. 
And the texture of this chicken salad is more on the wet side, more of like a tuna fish salad texture. So now I'm going to add some craisins just for some good fruity punch to it. You know, I have this little box here from Ocean Spray. I'm going to scatter this throughout. You know, just one full, one full one ounce craisins box. And then also, just to add a little crunch, I'm going to add almonds to it. But I found this salt and vinegar almonds by Blue Diamond. So I'm gonna add these in, but I don't want it to be too you know, chunky of just big chunks of almond. So I'm actually going to blend them just slightly so that they're more of just a chunks texture. And since this has salt on it, I'm going to add this and then taste just to make sure that overall it's not too salty. So here's my blender and I'm going to take about two handfuls of almonds and I'm just going to blend them on a low speed for just a few seconds until they're just a little bit broken up and easier to mix into the mixture. Okay, so now you can see they're sort of just like little chunks. Some of it turned into a powder, but then there's little tiny minced pieces in there, which is what you want. So it'll be nice and easy to chew. And so I'm just gonna pour that in here. Okay. So this is what it looks like in there. You can see the chunks and everything. So I'm going to mix that up now. And this is gonna add some natural salt to it. And just a little crunch. Okay, so it looks really good and smells really good. <laughs> so now I'm going to taste it. And your flavors are really gonna come out once you refrigerate it. If it's sitting in there for about an hour or two, two to three hours, once it gets nice and cold, that's when you're really gonna taste it. But you can still gauge how good it's gonna be before you refrigerate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spoon and try this. Okay, so now is a taste test to see how much salt we need or if we need any more salt in there at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. I didn't need anything else. This is so good. You guys have to make this. This is so good. Oh my gosh. This is like the best chicken salad I've ever had. <laughs> Not just because I made it, I swear. <laughs> like, it is so good. Oh my gosh, I wish I had made more. You guys have to try this. Um, it may be slightly different if you don't put as much mayo, if you don't like it on the, a little bit more on the thinner side. Um, but it will thicken up as it's refrigerated. So I would say, I would say just Stay true to the recipe and try it this way and then kind of alter it, you know, for the next batch. Just so you can try it the way it is here because it is so good. You can really taste all the components. The chicken um, is very flavorful from the poaching with all those different seasonings. You get a little crunch from the celery. Just, just a slight bit of onions in there so nothing's going to be too overpowering if you stick to that onion. Um, measurement of just a tablespoon and then the whole one ounce cranberries box so if you get a bite of cranberries and every bite it adds a good sweetness overall it's not too sweet because it has a good balance um, from the vinegar the white vinegar that was added and also the vinegar that is on the almonds and I put a decent amount of pepper I would say around Maybe a little bit under a tablespoon, tablespoon or so of pepper. 
so yeah this is really great um i will show you guys it's final plating on bread you know with bread and everything but i definitely recommend this to you guys for sure thank you guys so much for watching sunny's dash of flames and i really hope you guys try this recipe and enjoy this recipe um and i will have more videos up for you guys soon thank you so much guys